Hello once again YouTube. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a basic mock-up for your labels and logo while using the milk tea cup which we will model in Blender and render in T-Shot. This is a pretty basic tutorial though it may require a little bit of Blender experience but nonetheless you can follow what I do on screen. So without further delay, let's get to it. For the first part of this tutorial, we are going to model the cup. So right now, we are using a UV sphere. So we are going to highlight the bottom part and we are going to delete the vertices. So now we are going to delete the top part so that we can insert a straw on top of the cup. So basically, that is for the lid. So right now we are going to model the uh, lock for the lid. So we are going to extrude with letter E, then scale sideways. Then we are going to extrude again downwards with while pressing the Z key. So we are now going to scale it and give it a little bit of uh, curve. So we are going to add another loop cut using Control R and Control V for bevel so there we have it so we have now the lid lock so we are now going to bevel this side so that it will not look very sharp so yeah there we go control B and you can use your mouse scroll to increase the loop cut so for this we are going to bevel this side and yes use the loop cuts um, increase the loop cuts i mean by using the scroll wheel mouse scroll wheel so yeah so basically we are almost done with the cover so right now i am going to show you how to we can uh increase the thickness of the cup so Oh, I mean the cover of the cup so we added a modifier which is the solidify to increase the thickness of the cup so we don't want a very thin plastic cup so yeah it's up to you whether if you want a uh, very thick or not so yeah after that we're going to apply it and there we have it <clears throat> so for the top part we are going to add two loop cuts to eliminate the weird shading that is um, produced by the hole on top. I also added a mark sharp by highlighting the edge of the hole so that it will look sharp even though we do the shade smooth and we will also do the crease. Um, you can do that by pressing the space bar and typing crease edge. So right now, I'm adding an extra loop cut so that uh, it will smooth out everything. So yeah, I guess we are done with the cover part. Next, we will model the body of the cup. Press Shift plus A on your keyboard to add a mesh. Go to Mesh and add a cylinder. Resize the cylinder to fit the cover of the cup. Highlight the bottom part of the cup while on wireframe mode so you can select the back portion of the cup. Press S to scale the cup inwards to give the body of the cup a little bit of form. We'll now add a little bit of detail on the bottom part of the cup so that it will not look very plain. Yeah, there we have it. So now we are going to add a little bit more of the uh, detail on the middle part of the cup where we can put our, I mean, we can hold the cup better and we are going to add a loop cut. So control R, then scroll, use your mouse scroll to increase the loop cut. Then you can use the G, you can press the G key so you can slide the uh, edge up and down by using I uh, by pressing the Z key so yeah there you have it so this is where our hand goes in so that you can hold the cup better so it will not slip on your hand so 
we are now going to do some little bit of adjustment and refine the shape of the cup so i think the bottom part is a bit uh needs a little bit of a adjustment so yeah i think that's better so we are going to scale it inwards i think uh, yeah i think we really need to scale it some more so right now i'm going to add some sharp edges to the cup so that uh, whenever we do the shade smooth, the sharp edges will not disappear. So, like this. So, what, how you can fix this is you go to your uh, normals and activate the shades, uh, auto shade at 30 degrees angle. So, I, I mean auto smooth. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so there we have it. So, all the low poly shades are now gone so i guess we are done with our cup so you can now save your work and then we are going to export it as a polyada file so yeah there we go so now we are on keyshot and we are now going to import our file so there we have it so it's colored black because we don't have any textures on it so we are now going to reposition our uh, mesh so highlight the mesh then we can uh, press and hold shift while turning it uh, 90 degrees so that it will stick uh, it will snap to that angle so after that, we can press the uh, snap to ground so that it will snap on the um, ground plane of the shot. So there we have it. We applied the uh, plastic material, but this is not what we really want. So right now, it looks like a glass, more like a glass than a plastic. So I added a environment which is included in t-shot so now we are adding a uh, plane so we can go to edit edit add geometry then plane then we are going to scale it and this will act as our table so we'll just scale it up a bit so i think that's fine so Now we're going to change the property of this material into a glass instead of solid glass. So yeah, that's more like it. So we are now looking at the cup and it looks more of a plastic than a glass. So as you can see, we can now see the transparency. And right now, I just duplicated the body of the cup. So this will... Uh, and then I scaled it inwards, so this will act as the uh, liquid that's inside the cup. So I grabbed a texture of a milk tea on Google and I just cut it. And then I used a soft brush to add all the pearls down there. So right now we are going to... Uh, use the cylinder as our texture mapping because our cup is a cylinder so yeah we can use it so that we can map the texture better so there we have it as you can see there is the uh, pearl so these are not real geometry this is just a picture that was edited on photoshop so we are now going to adjust it so that it will fit nicely on the cup so now we are going to add some textures on the table so that it will look uh, more believable and we are going to adjust it so that uh, the textures are will fit the table better so we are going to increase the size so yeah there we have it we're going to use the <coughs> we're going to change the mapping type 
to planar so we are now going to increase the texture size so yeah i guess that's pretty good yeah for we can do better but yeah for a basic tutorial i think this is uh pretty good so we just duplicated the model itself so we can have another cup so we are going to move the cup behind the uh first cup so that uh, we can add a little bit of depth to the scene so it won't be kind of boring so yeah there we have it so as you can see the cups are very similar so what you can do is you can turn the textures inside the liquid so that it will uh, look more unique than the first um yeah the first uh, cup so there you go I just did that and yeah I think that's pretty good so now we are going to add the label so I'm going to use my logo both of my logos here so this is the channel logo that I have so we are going to add it as a label so you can turn it around resize it and you can uh, re uh i mean reposition it by clicking on the uh the cup itself so yeah i think that's good so there we have it so you can change the property of the label if you want it to look like a plastic a more like a paint so you can do that so there we go so now I'm going to add a logo on the other um, cup. So I'm going to use my uh, agency logo. So this is the Lunar Media. You can visit us at our Facebook page, which is Lunar Media 2019 and 2020. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to reposition it. And scale it a bit so there we go so as you can see there is a shadow behind the logo so you can reduce that by increasing the size of the liquid inside the cup so you can just highlight the mesh inside the cup and increase the size so that uh, it will reduce the shadow so there we go so yeah there's a thickness effect right there so that's very good so we are pretty much done at this time so as a bonus i will uh show you how to add some water droplets on the um cup itself so we went to the material grab and added a spot and also a displacement so if this is going a bit fast uh, i added a link down below so you can follow it with the original tutorial where i saw this uh, effect so basically the spot is the water droplet so you have to uh, what i did here is just trial and error so yeah, change the color to white and the background to black so that the water droplets will be extruded outwards instead of inwards. So if you're going to use a white background and a black color, so the droplets will be extruded inwards, not outwards. So yeah, so I think the droplets are extruded um, a bit uh high so we are going to reduce that so yeah there we go so there's a lot of adjustments here so basically it's just trial and error because this is the first time that i'm doing it on e shot so this is a great effect so if you want to show your client and you know uh once they look at your cup they will feel thirsty so yeah there we go looks pretty good i love this effect so i will look into this effect a little bit more once i'm 
I have the time. So right now we are just going to do a basic uh setting. So not really too fancy. So we have it. So just do some trial and error and click on the execute button right there. So if you're happy with your settings, then that's it. So I'm going to reduce reduce it some more. Execute. Yeah, I think uh that's pretty good. So yeah, it's it looks more realistic than it was before. So yeah, there we go. So I want to reduce the top part. So what I'm going to do is I will unlink the material of the cover to the body so that they will have an individual material grab. So yeah. So I'm going to fast forward this a bit and yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue the video once I'm done with all my settings. So yeah. So finally, we have the finished product that I did right here. So I decided I'll use both logos instead of the Lunar Media. So right now it's looking pretty good. So yeah, that's it, guys. So if you're happy with your result, you can now press Control P and render your scene so yeah that's it guys so that's basically the uh, tutorial and i hope you like it and if you have a lot of questions you can ask on the comments down below and i'll see you guys next time mm -hmm.